Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Today, I have the opportunity to sit down and speak with Colleen Drake, who is the admissions counselor for the Falls Schools of, Bus of Business at Anderson University. Thanks for sitting down and chatting with us. Yeah, thank you, Brandy. I'm really excited um, to be here and um, share a little bit about our programs um, today and with your students. I am also excited to learn more about these fantastic programs that you have to offer. So can you start out and just kind of tell us about your program? Yeah, so I am uh, the main recruiter for Anderson's residential master's of business program. So it's a 10 month residency program. Um, it's very accelerated and um, it's really designed for students that have just graduated from college. So whether they are seniors or they've been out for school maybe one or two years, um, it's, that's who we're really um, designing this program for. So it's called an early career MBA. Um, so like I said, fully residential. So within this program, um, you, you actually are living um, with a cohort of around 10 up to 19 students. So we max out at 19. Uh, we really want to have individual attention for each of our students so they can um, have small groups, work and collaborate together, um, and then also be able to interact with their faculty um, on a one-to-one -one basis, on a you know, daily basis. Um, so with that being said, um, you'd actually live at the Anderson University Flagship Center. Um, that's where it's located. And it's right off of I-69. So it's just a little bit north of Noblesville. So it's not on campus, but just right off of the I-69 corridor. Um, and we designed it that way so our students could actually um, access a lot of the job opportunities that are in that corridor in, in Madison and Hamilton County. Um, so our students live within that facility. We, ha we actually own the entire third floor of that, of that uh, facility. And then our students take classes two to three days a week um, and then also complete a co-op as well. So um, their co-op is about 20 to 25 hours a week. Um, so they're also gaining some work experience too and, and really just networking and, and getting you know, that career readiness um, experience that they need. Um, to be more attractive to employers once they graduate with their master's of business. And then can you, can somebody go part-time? So or is it our program, yeah, so it's more so designed to be a full-time program because okay. it's 10 months. Um, now we do offer a part-time MBA that is one night a week, um, the traditional format that's 100% online as well as in person. So if a student has been out of school for, we like to say at least three to five years, um, then we kind of suggest that program a little bit more because it's more for um, someone that might have a full-time job, um, maybe they have work, more work experience and they wanna space out their program a little bit. So that professional MBA program is about 22 months long, but our residential program is 10 months, so it's very accelerated. Um, and we're really looking for candidates that, um, you know, are, are able to, to meet the expectations of that program within that small time frame. Perfect. Thank you for that. Could you provide some specific information on the classes, projects, any learning opportunities that are involved with those programs? Yeah, I love that question. Yeah, so the, for the 10-month program, um, you do complete the full Master's of Business program in that 10-month time period. So we like to say it's a broad-based management program. So instead of doing a thesis, you would actually, you're gonna be completing a full business plan by the end of your program. Um, you'll be taking managerial level classes like in accounting, finance, um, economics, uh, marketing, uh, social media. So it really just gives you a, a, quite a variety um, of classes um, that you'll be taking. Um, one of my favorite classes that we take actually is um, organization, organizational change, which is especially, you know, a great class for right now, um, where it kind of helps you to figure out what's going on in your organization, what issues are seen, you know, what red flags are popping up in your company, and then how do you pivot your company um, to make it more, you know, uh, productive or um, to change the strategy. And so we actually give our students actual tools that they can use to do that. So they can take that 
and go back to their workplaces and um, you know make that change and make implementation change, implementational changes um, to the organizational strategies, which is really exciting. Um, we also offer um, an international trip with a 10 month program. So currently that is actually, we're, we're trying to figure that whole piece out, um, but typically it's included with the program and we usually go to Grand Cayman every year. Um, so you have an opportunity to um, explore a beautiful place, but also get some business um, experience as well because you're um, visiting local companies, meeting with CEOs, and really trying to get a, a good feel of what international business looks like on a global scale. So that's the 10 month program. For our professional program, it is more of that kind of traditional, um, you know, where you one night a week. So you do create um, a business plan as well, um, but you've got just as many, you know, you're doing papers, presentations, those kinds of um, projects, um, and they do vary by class. But um, so I, what I tell one of your students, I guess, is to expect, um, you know, a broad based and a management program that just encompasses a lot of a lot of different subjects in business. Mm -hmm. And then what are the benefits of pursuing your program? What types of positions or careers could result from the master's degree? Yeah, that's a that's an awesome question. So um, really, you know, the payoff, not, a lot of people say there's always a monetary payoff for your master's, you know, and um, so that's that's pretty obvious that um, you're investing in your long-term career success um, by doing an MBA. So most individuals that complete their MBA will find that they at least double their salary within a couple of years of graduating. Once you get that kind of experience, um, then you know your employer is going to recognize that hey, you're already ahead of people that are you know maybe your colleagues. Um, some sample career opportunities I wanted to mention, and you know, we have people that do this program that come from all different um, backgrounds. Um, I was a communications major, and so we have people that really, the, the MBA just fits into a variety of companies um, and, and formats for, you know, different positions. So, um, for, for example, if you're in sciences, um, we have people that have gone on to become um, chief medical officers, um, maybe do even regulatory quality control, something like that. Um, if you're, uh, let's say you're in public relations or communications and that's really your passion, um, you can become a director of communications or maybe a marketing manager um, and just gives you that next level of experience so you can move on to more of a leadership role. Uh, for students in finance, um, there's a chief uh, financial officer. Um, there's, of course, a chief technology officer, you know, for computer science and information um, management, those students. Um, and we often see uh, nonprofit directors as well, you know, from students that are in the humanities. So it really is just an awesome uh, variety of ways you can go. It just depends on your background because the MBA is, is really a degree that's attractive for most companies. Is there, so this is an off question and I apologize. Is there, uh, do students work with a specific advisor, career development as they're going through this to kind of talk out some of those things that you were discussing? They do. So we actually have um, within the fall school business, our own MBA staff. Um, that kind of helps to um, walk along with the students. So for our 10 month program, um, when our students are admitted, um, they start to work with our MBA director on a co-op opportunity. So we kind of help to identify, okay, what's, what's a good option? You know, what are your interests? What are your goals? Um, and then let's look at co-ops that could be close here. Uh, maybe we have alumni, we try and leverage those things. Um, to you know, offer the best opportunity and the best possibilities for our students. Perfect. And then what are the admissions requirements? So for the 10 month residential MBA, uh, we require an online application, um, three references. Um, we do require the GMAT or GRE for students. So our program starts every August, August 1. Um, and so we try to have everything in um, by June. Um, this year has been 
and very different experience. So we have extended our deadline. Um, and so we are welcome, still welcoming applications for our program. Um, and can of course talk to any student if they're interested, um, we can figure out what that looks like. But we do require the GMAT or GRE for our program. Um, official transcripts. Um, and then we do a formal interview once our students have all those things in line. Um, and we just want to get to know who you are, um, what you're about, and uh, make sure you know who we are too, and make sure we're a good fit you know, for that student. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a little bit less intensive on the professional side for students that are, you know, maybe they've waited a little bit longer, they're professionals. Um, it's more the traditional kind of um, application process that you would see um, in compared to other grad schools in the area. So it's more online application references and then your transcripts. Um, and then we do an enrollment deposit, you know, um, once, once you're admitted and everything. Um, but there's no test requirement if you do the, the online MBA, um, in the, you know, in-person MBA. Okay. Thank you for that information. If a student is interested, what should their next steps be? Yeah, so um, what I can do is share the link. We have um, a link to a form that they can fill out to express a little bit more interest. Um, and we can chat by email or phone. I'm happy to set up a call um, with that student if they're, you know, if they're really considering our program. Uh, like I said, our, our start date is August 1. We're doing our orientation on that day. Um, so we are still filling our cohort for this year. And so if there is a student that's interested, I'd be happy to you know, reach out to them and, and set up a time um, to talk. But they can also visit our website, um, and that is anderson.edu slash rnba. Perfect. And then lastly, is there anything else that you were hoping to share about the program or Anderson University that didn't get covered in those questions? Yeah, I would say uh, we do have a scholarship opportunity for Marion students for this year, um, which is a great thing to take advantage of. So it is a $2,500 scholarship towards our 10-month residential MBA program. Um, so that would definitely be available for students. Um, now for the, for the uh, professional MBA, um, I will say that we're very competitive uh, with our pricing. And um, so we don't really do any scholarships for that program. Um, we do offer them for a 10-month uh, residential. Okay. So if there are students that are interested, um, feel free to reach out. Um, I'd love to share even more um, about our program, the Fall School of Business. Um, yeah, but that was it. Um, happy to answer other questions you know, for any of your students. Perfect. And I will definitely send them your way. That would be great. So thank you so much for hanging out and um, kind of telling us more about this great opportunity for students. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me, Brandy, and um, thank you for your partnership. We, we love Marion University students. Um, they're the best. Oh, that's great. We, we hope to um, be able to welcome some um, to our program in the future. Fantastic. Thank you.